Hey guys, it's Rose with Rose Likes Crochet. How is everybody doing? It is Friday, December 18th, 2020, and um, I am I haven't been on in a while. Um, I have been really busy watching Vlogmas videos. Uh, I don't know how you guys do it. I don't even have time to watch videos. Uh, one of the reasons I haven't put on any videos is because I feel like it would just get lost with all the Vlogmas videos, but hopefully you guys will watch this one. Um, for those of you who are new, my name is Rose. I like to crochet. I also like yarn. Uh, I live in the Chicago area. I have a daughter. Her nickname is Carrots, and we have quite a few animals in this house, so we call it the zoo. Um, but uh, I'm really excited to have you guys here and talk to you guys before the holidays so I can say happy holidays to everybody. Um, so anyway, um, really quick, I have um, quite a few holiday cards that have come in, some happy mail, some uh, wings packages that I knew were coming, and I did a little retail therapy, um, and I made some blankets, so I want to show you guys. Um, the first thing, though, that I want to tell you is the last video that I did, if you guys want to go check it out, it was an Etsy shop update and in the video I was showing you guys all of the stitch markers that I've been making and I wanted to explain that I couldn't figure out how to combine the shipping on them so it was kind of crazy like if someone ordered two or three sets of stitch markers because I make stitch markers um, it would charge four dollar shipping for each pair and it was really weird I couldn't figure it out so I want to give a huge shout out to Ella at no catchy name hi Ella she must have been watching and um, she sent me a video two videos on how to change the shipping. So OMG, Ella, you are a complete lifesaver and I love you so much. Thank you so much for taking the time to show me. She videotaped it and sent it to me step-by-step step on how to do it. So I'm super excited. If you guys would like to go and order stitch markers, um, now there is no reason to do any kind of refund. So it's really exciting. You don't have to wait for a refund on your credit card. Anyway, I still have some really cool stitch markers left. I'll insert a couple pictures of just some of the things that I have left. Um, and I am ordering a whole bunch more of those really cool stitch markers like the M&Ms and the Mickey Mouse. And I think I sold out of Winnie the Pooh and I think I have some Eeyore coming. Um, so keep an eye out for, I'll, I'll upload a video. Um, what I do recommend though is go on over and favorite my shop and then you'll get notifications when I put new things up there. So you'll probably get notified before anyone here on YouTube will get notified. So anyway, so let's get on to the next thing. So I have been really busy. Um, every weekend I go to WINGS. Um, for those of you who are new here, WINGS is a domestic violence organization based here in Chicago. And this channel all year for 2020 has been donating handmade items to WINGS. Um, we ended uh, accepting donations on November 20th, and the reason was because they are getting ready for the holidays. Now, I was there last Saturday helping them get ready for the holidays, and I took a couple pictures. Um, what they do is they request toys for specific age groups, and they have tables set up in their location, and they organize them by age group, and if it's a boy or girl, um, and so we had to open up all the boxes that were coming in from like Amazon or donations and organize them on the tables. Uh, we were also making towel sets for the moms. Um, we were making art sets for all the families. Um, and then uh, the next day and the next day after that, they were having more volunteers come to bag them up and get them ready. So um, I'm gonna insert those pictures here so you can see how massive of um, an undertaking this was for them. And I was so excited to volunteer there. Um, I think the first couple pictures are of the tables of all the toys. And then the next picture is of the towel sets that we were putting together. So I'll insert those here.
So you see there's a lot of work going on there and that is one of the reasons that they requested that we stop um, sending donations. So I know that a lot of you were pretty unhappy that you couldn't send donations after November 20th, but I hope you understand the reason why. Um, I also have requested um, to figure out what we're doing for next year and uh, my contact there said she's just way too swamped until after Christmas to even think about it. So I understand that a lot of you are interested in starting to send donations for 2021 but please um, don't email me and ask me when or what because I don't know because she doesn't know um, she hasn't even looked at the email that I sent her with exactly what we all donated in 2020 so if you guys could please have patience I know that there are lots of other channels that are accepting donations right now so please go on ahead and find those guys if you really have to get something out of your house um, but hopefully we will have an update in January. Um, okay, so like I said, I do have a couple boxes that were sent in. Actually, we have a blanket from the Blanket Brigade, so we'll start with that box. Okay, so I'm not going to show you the boxes, guys. Um, so this is the card that we got sent, and this is from Mardell, and and Mardell is from Kansas, and she was part of the Blanket Brigade. So um, the Blanket Brigade was we were collecting six inch and twelve inch squares this summer and we were putting them together to make twin size blankets so mardell graciously offered at the end of the uh <laughs> fall to put some squares together for me and she did and she sent some extras and the card says rose hope this finds both you and carrots doing well i was finally able to get this blanket completed and return to you hope you don't mind that i am enclosing the few hats and scarves that i had completed before starting the blanket i had hoped to get everything back to you by the 20th but sickness hit our household and we were unable to get to the post office all is well now and life is back to normal thank you for all you do for the wings project as i know it gets overwhelming for you at times we all love you and everything you do ah thank you mardell so mardell sent some uh winter items which is fine but you guys just please don't send anything else right now <laughs> so she sent this adorable hood you guys can see that and then she sent some hats there's one, two, three, four, five. And then she sent some hat and scarf sets. So, oh, I love this yarn, it's beautiful. And here is another one. Okay, and then she sent the finished blanket. Okay, guys, so I sent her 154 squares. So she put them all together and it's super, super hard for me to show you guys this um, in, in this position. So what I'm gonna do, oh, it is so pretty. And thank you to everyone um, who sent in squares last year because it really helped. We submitted so many twin size blankets and I really appreciate it. Um, so I'm gonna go put this on the bed and take some pictures and I'll insert those, I'll, I'll insert those pictures here. All right, guys, so I am so blessed to have you all in my life. I got all of these holiday cards. I got two boxes and a package, and I am so excited. So just for the sake of saving time, I'm gonna tell you who sent me the card and show you the card and not read what's in it. I'm gonna save that for myself. Um, but I'm so thankful for you guys um, that you sent me a card and you thought about me. And I really, really appreciate it. And I'm not gonna apologize because I don't send out cards, but I'm sorry you're not getting a card. <laughs> All right, so this first card is from Victoria, and she is also known as Alaska Crafty Gal Victoria, and she has a channel here on YouTube. Um, anyone that I talk about today that has a channel, I will link them in the description box down below. So this is the card she sent. Oh, it's just beautiful. Softly, gently, joyfully, and it's got snowflakes on it. So thank you so much, Victoria, you're so sweet. Okay, this next one was addressed to Rose and Carrots. Again, Carrots is the nickname for my daughter. And this is from, let me see, I'll show you the card. Look at how cute. You guys find the cutest cards. 
This is from Jennifer Dickens and she is from Louisiana. So Jennifer, thank you so, so much for the card. I love it. Uh, this next one here, wow, isn't that gorgeous, is from Miss Velda Lacoste and she is from Iowa. Hi, Iowa. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so you guys have to see this one. Are you ready? It's a pop-up. How cute. Look at the scene. Oh my gosh, Velda, that's so cool. Thank you so much for that awesome card. Oh my gosh, you guys are so nice. Okay, this next card, I'll show you that, is from, let me see, I couldn't read the return address. Carla. Okay, this is from Carla and she is from California. So thank you so, so much, Carla. It is adorable. Oh, this sparkly too. Oh my gosh. Okay, I got a Hanukkah card. I actually got a couple of Hanukkah cards. So I'll show you guys that. And this is from Judy and she has a channel here. It's called Crochet Every Day with Judy. So thank you so much for the Hanukkah card. Uh, Hanukkah is over now. We had eight nights of Hanukkah and last night was the last night. Thank you so much for the card. Um, this next one, show you that, is from Melanie and she is from Pennsylvania. And she is also, she says she is also known as the fluffy tote bag girl. <laughs> so let me see if she has... Um, I don't know if she has a channel or not or an Etsy shop, but I'll try and see if I can find something on her. But she is also known as the fluffy tote bag girl. So <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much for the card. Okay, this next one is also a Hanukkah card and it is gorgeous. And this is from Natalie from Natalie's Closet. So Natalie, thank you so, so much for the card. It is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, another Hanukkah card. So exciting. And this one is from Summer Dye. And she is from Kentucky. And Summer is one of my good customers in my Etsy shop. <laughs> so thank you so much for the card, Summer. I appreciate it. And then we have this card. And this I will have to go into. Seasons Greetings. This is from uh, someone we all know here on YouTube. Her name is Michelle, but she goes by Shell Shell, Shell Shell Crochet. I will link her in the description box down below. So Michelle, you are so cute. So she, this is a great, she writes in there, Happy Hanukkah. And then um, she sent some postcards, which is really cool. I don't know if you meant to send me two. I'm sorry if you did, but there's her postcard. And, oh, yeah, you know what? This is probably for you guys. So you can see she is very, very, very talented. So there is her card. And she sent some stickers. And, oh, look at that. How cute. And she sent some hair ties, which is awesome. They're little um, camouflage hair ties. I'll be giving those to Carrots. So thank you so much, Michelle, I love it, thank you. Okay, here is the next card. Oh, that's so pretty. And this one is from Tris Becker. And let's see, I think Tris has a channel as well. She sent me some tea, thank you. And yes, uh, her channel is called Comfy Cozy Crochet with Tris. And I'll make sure to link that as well. So Tris, thank you so much for the holiday card, I appreciate it. Here is the next one. And yes, I will have glitter all over my table now. <laughs> this is from Rachel. And she also has a channel here on YouTube, uh, CIS for Crone. And that is a gorgeous card. I'll link her channel too. This next one. Oh, that's so pretty. I love the glitter. You guys probably can't. Oh, there you can see the glitter a little bit. This is from Susan Hebert, and she is from Canada. So, hi, Canada. Happy holidays. Oh, these cards are so pretty. Okay, this has to be, like, one of the prettiest cards I've seen in a long time. I don't know if you guys can see, like, the colors on that, but this is from one of my favorite people. Her name is Michelle Chapone, and she is from Washington, and um, 
Yes, thank you so much for the Hanukkah card. It's absolutely beautiful. I would like to post this on my refrigerator. <laughs> That's how pretty this one is. It's gorgeous. Thank you so much. Okay, this next one is not the same one as from before. It's a new one. <laughs> it's a Hanukkah card from Karen Olson and she is from Iowa. So thank you so much, Karen. I, you know, I don't know. I didn't even look for Hanukkah cards this year. So I didn't even know those were out there. Um, this next card is from well, let's see who it's from because there's no written name on there. Oh, Robin Lawson. So Robin, thank you so much. I appreciate it. That is a gorgeous card too. Oh my gosh. All right. Look at this one, you guys. Peace on earth. Okay. This one is from Barbara Linehart and she is our favorite person who lives on a boat in Florida. <laughs> Hi, Barbara. Thank you so much for the card. This is a Save the Manatee card, and it's adorable, and I agree they should be saved. So, all right, here is the next one, and it's so cute, and she it's supposed to say family is people we cherish, times we treasure, and joys we celebrate, but she says yarn family. <laughs> and this is from Miss Doris Wright, and she is from the Rose Cottage Studio. So if she has a YouTube channel on here, I will be sure to link it, but that is adorable. And, um, oh my gosh. And then I have another one, and um, this is from Holly at the Proper Pineapple. Hi, Holly, I love you. But she sent this beautiful photo, Christmas photo of her family, and I just love it. Holly, thank you so much for the gorgeous photo. I love it. I, I hope you guys have happy holidays down there in Texas, and I can't wait for you to come back home. <laughs> Not that she lives close, but Michigan is way closer than Texas. Okay, so this next package was from Natalie Pinar, and she sent me a card, and it looks like it's homemade, and it is a beautiful Hanukkah card. Oh my gosh. Um, Hanukkah, Hanukkah to remember. Yes, a Hanukkah to remember. And then she sent this beautiful, let me see if I can tell you what it is. It says, remove wooden stand from front of card and insert into base of menorah to display in your favorite place. So it's like a little stand-up menorah that we could use next Hanukkah. It's so cool and so ornate. I just love that. It's so pretty. So we can display that somewhere else in our house and not have to worry about burning anything down. <laughs> All right, this next box is from one of my favorite peeps in the whole wide world, and I call her my fairy yarn sister. Her name is Linda Steinbrecher, and she's always sending me stuff, always. Um, so she sent this, this card. It's a beautiful Hanukkah card. And there's some stuff in the box here. It says, for the light of your friendship, for the warmth that adds to my life, I just want to say thank you. Have the happiest of Hanukkahs. And she says, sending a little gold to celebrate with love from Linda. Linda, I love you. Okay, so look at how nice she wrapped it, you guys. So let me unwrap this so you don't have to hear the paper, and I'll show you what she gave me. All right, so she's got something in there for carrots, and it's wrapped, and I'm not going to open that up. I'm going to let carrots open that up, and then um, thank you so much in advance, Linda, for whatever it is that you gave the carrots, and then here is what she gave to me. It's a little bit of gold. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. Okay, so this is Loops and Threads Cream Cotton, and I'm pretty sure the color is gold. <laughs> Um, the color is mustard, but it's close enough. So she gave me two of those. Oh, you're so sweet, Linda. Thank you so much. Um, we don't do gifts for Hanukkah because everyone gives Kara's Christmas presents. So thank you so much for my, my only Hanukkah presents this year. All right, I got one more box. And this is from Peggy Whitehouse. And she is from... Um, Vermont. So we're going to see what's in this box. Okay, so she sent me a little letter and the letter says, Rose, I thought you should have a knitted version of your lovey. I made it in purple for you, but if you or your daughter do not want it, give it away to someone who will enjoy it from Peggy Whitehouse. And then she put down what she put the yarn band for what the yarn was. It looks like it was a sweet roll. And look at how pretty this is. Oh, she made a lovey for me with purple purple yarn. 
Oh my gosh, that is so precious and it's knitted. Wow, it's so pretty and look at that. It's just adorable. So I absolutely love this. Now Peggy, I hope you don't mind, but I would really love to donate this to Wings if that's okay, because it's just adorable and I think some little person would absolutely love it. Um, unfortunately, my daughter is not interested in these. <laughs> And I don't know where I would even put this, but I would love to give this to someone who would just love on this. So if it's okay with you, I'm going to bring it to Wings with me on Saturday when I go. But thank you so much. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So thank you so much, Peggy. So a little bit of retail therapy had to happen last week, and I wanted to show you guys what I picked up. It wasn't a whole lot. Uh, I don't know why, but I've just not been seeing anything that I've had to have in the yarn stores and it's driving me nuts because I'd really like some some new yarn. So anyway, so I went to Joanne Fabrics and uh, two of the things that I bought are not, not mine. They were some diamond painting kits for my daughter. So one of them was like a parrot, like a picture of a parrot and one was a Harry Potter set. So I don't know what she's got though somewhere. Um, but the other thing that I did find at Joanne in the clearance section, you guys, uh, Red Heart Super Saver Ombre, and the color is purple, and these were on clearance for $4.97. They only had two, otherwise, you know, I would have bought more, <laughs> but here are the two that I found, and uh, no, I have no plans for them. They will probably go in my stash of ombre yarns that I have, <laughs> and so th that's all that I really found there for yarn, um, was kind of sad. I found these charms. I think they're so pretty, and I'm going to make some stitch markers out of these. So that's all I found in the jewelry section, too. I don't know what the deal was. I couldn't find anything. Uh, and then I had a $5 reward coupon, so I picked up this little lovey right here, and um, I couldn't wait. So I, uh, I guess I didn't pick up the lovey. I picked up the beanie boo. <laughs> And then I, I turned him into a lovey. So um, this is one of my favorite things to do and make. And the pattern for this is from Z, Zelda NRJ3. I will link that in the description box down below. For those of you who are not familiar with the loveys, you make the blanket by itself. You crochet around a hair tie so that it's elastic and you can put it over the head. And you can do this in whatever color. Um, and then you can get whatever stuffed animal you want. I chose this purple guy because purple is my favorite. And then you take the hole and you you put it over the head. And it, this is great for little kids because they drag everything around. And when it gets dirty, you can just take that off and wash it. So anyway, so I did that real fast. Uh, that's all I got at Joanne Fabrics. Uh, we didn't get a chance to go to Michael's because the location by me was closed for some reason, but we did go to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> okay, so I, I couldn't resist. I was walking past the yarn section and it was all 30% off and I don't know what it is because I'm not a green person, but I found this Yarn Bee Urban Chic. I had to pick up three of them. I don't know what I'll make with them, but they're so pretty. And I don't know why green is, I don't know, I just like it. I'm sorry, Laura from Mad Mimi Crochet. She doesn't like green. <laughs> so anyway, let me tell you about this yarn because um, I, I don't know, I just thought it was so pretty. So it's called Urban Chic and it's only available at Hobby Lobby. It's a three and a half ounce skein, 275 yards. The color on this one is called eucalyptus, but it's spelled Y-O-U-C-A-L-Y-P-T-U-S. A nice play on words. And this is 275 yards, 78% acrylic, 22% cotton. It is a number three lightweight. It recommends a five millimeter crochet hook. So that was all the yarn that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I don't know why nothing else thrilled me. Um, <laughs> couldn't tell you. Um, but I do like their charms and their beads. So I did have to pick up some beads. Um, this was something new that I hadn't seen there before. So I figured I'd better pick it up. It is just a nice selection of beads. Maybe you can see it better that way. There you go. And then um, I use these a lot when I'm making stitch markers. So I picked up these colors right here. Um, 
I don't know. I like I like this set a lot. Uh, gold, I don't know. I don't use a lot of gold, but that's okay. So anyway, I picked those up. And I think these were all like half off or something. I don't remember. And then I did pick up some other beads. I thought these were really pretty. These are like little roses. And then I got some purple owls. And I picked up, oh, I, I've had these before and I sold out of them. It's called chocolate and caffeine because who can go without chocolate and caffeine? <laughs> and then I picked up some more of these swirly dudes. I still have some of these in my Etsy shop for sale. I also picked up some more of these green cats. Um, I do have these also for sale in my Etsy shop. And I thought these were really pretty. Look at those crosses. So I can't wait to make those into stitch markers. Um, so that's it for retail. So now I'm gonna show you the blankets that I've been doing, hang on. Okay, you guys. So I have completed seven blankets, but they're all the same pattern. So there's nothing crazy to memorize. It's a two row repeat. I will link the pattern in the description box down below. It is called the Modern Granny Rectangle and it is from Yarnspirations. And I believe Mikey has a tutorial for it here on YouTube. So I will find that and link it down below. Anyway, I love it. It's an easy repeat. I love the way it turns out. So um, I'm gonna tell you who I'm gifting them to. So <laughs> these first two, um, and I'll show you all the yarn that I used and everything. These first two are actually going to be for the two people that I've been volunteering with at Wings. So the first person is the actual person who works at Wings and she is amazing. And I hope she's not watching this because <laughs> I'm bringing them tomorrow. Um, anyway, there's also a gentleman that helps her all the time. He works full time, but he also helps her all the time. And um, I've been volunteering there quite a bit lately, and he's always really, really helpful for me when I'm trying to figure out where things go. So I made each of them a blanket. When I asked them what their favorite color was, guess what they said? Purple. <laughs> and I was like, yes! So anyway, I wanna show you guys, so just so you know that all these blankets that I'm gonna show you are the same pattern. So for their blankets, I actually doubled, I doubled the yarn. So I used these Tent Sale Monster Balls for their blankets. So for the first one, it is um, purple, purple and cool blue. And for the second one, okay, so here's what I had left from the purple and I had nothing left from the blue, which is weird because they're the same yardage, but um, I didn't, they, they ended at different times. Um, so a uh, cool blue and this one is called, I don't know what it's called, I messed up the thing, uh, soft lilac. So each one of these has like 2,024 yards. So each one of these blankets is 4,000 yards of yarn. <laughs> The second one is the soft lilac, and then this is all I had left of the green, which is called soft mint. Now, I don't think these are available for purchase normally. Um, I think it's only when they have their tent sales. So um, you saw what I had left in the green, and this is what I have left in the purple, which is fine, because I'll use the purple for something. <laughs> so I'm probably not gonna be able to show you guys the blanket, but I'm gonna take some pictures so that you can see what they look like. So it's, again, modern granny rectangle. Hard to show you guys what it looks like. Um, so here is the purple and blue one. And it's super thick because I double stranded it. And then let me show you, you know what? I'll put in a picture here of the blue and the purple one um, so that you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I'll put those here. So then the next one was the purple and green one. And again, it's really hard to show you guys because these are super, super huge. But here is the, and it's kind of hard to see what the stitch looks like just because of the two colors held together. Um, but there is the purple and the green one. And I'll take a picture and insert the pictures here.
So the next blanket that I finished using the same pattern, um, I used a, a Karen One Pound, which is, this is all I have left of the Karen One Pound. And the color is, I don't know what the color is because of course I wrapped it around there. <laughs> it's like called, light, let me see if I can get the color for you. The color is called Light Violet. So that's how much I have left from a one pounder of Light Violet. And then I used this pink, which was also a Karen one pounder. And this one is called Soft Pink. So out of a one pound, that's all I have left of that. And then I used a Karen Jumbo, and I have nothing left on that one. And this one is called Bouquet. So this, you can probably see a little bit better than the other ones. So this is the blanket. And you can see I alternated the pink, the ombre, the purple, and then I finished it off with some pink. So um, I took a picture of this one, so I will insert it here so you can see what it looks like. Now I apologize if in the past I didn't tell you what yarn I used and how much, but I wanted to make sure that I told you guys so you know approximately how much you need. Um, this next one, I actually used the Bernat Pop and the color is called Planetary and I had four of these. So I used all four of the Planetary um, I also lined it, or I, I did some more around it with Red Heart Super Saver in white. And that's all I have left of one skein of that. And then I had this Clearance Crafter Secret Yarn. Uh, the color on this one is, I think it's discontinued. It's called a Grape Fit. And that's all I had left on that one. This one I thought was really, really pretty. So here is this one. And I, I like, um, I didn't color control anything, by the way, you guys. Um, I don't normally color control anything. So here is this one. And it's really, really soft. I love it. So um, I'll put a picture of it right here. So this next one was using Premier Sweet Roll Frosty and the color on this is called Lime Aid and I had four of these so I used every last drop of four and then I had two skeins of this Big Twist yarn that's from Joanne Fabrics and it's called Buttercup and so I used one full one and this is all I have left of the second one. And I made this blanket, which by the way, you guys, this frosty yarn is so, so lovely to work with. If you get a chance to get some of that, I would say get some. Okay, so here is this one. Again, I did not color control. Um, I just used yellow on the border and I am in love with it. Okay, so, um, these four of these last five blankets that I'm showing you are actually going to go to the ladies who work at the post office. <laughs> um, I have given them so much hell this year <laughs> um, and they're so sweet and they're so helpful. So four of these blankets that I'm showing you right now are going to go to the ladies at the post office and I know they don't watch so it's fine um, but they're they're awesome awesome ladies. Um, so here I'll insert a picture of this one right here. Okay, so this next one was using Premier Sweet Roll and the color is Cherry Swirl. And I used five of these, uh, which by the way, these were 245 yards each. I'm sorry I didn't tell you on the other ones, but you guys could look those up. So five of these, and then I used this uh, Joanne Big Twist and the color is called Dark Rose. And that's all I have left of one skein of that. So this one might be a little bit smaller, but that's okay, because I don't think that they know what the sizes are. <laughs> so anyway, here is this one. I love this colorway. I'm not a red person, but I just love it. I think it's so pretty. Like it's, it's almost like, um, 
it's so it's more elegant looking than like gaudy looking so anyway i took a picture of this one and i'll put it right here So the last one that I made was also using Premier Sweet Roll Frosties. You guys, I'm, I'm loving this yarn. And this color is called Jack Frost. So I had four of these and I only have that much left out of one of them. And then I also used a Red Heart. And let me see what this one is called, Turqua. So this is all I have left from a whole skein of Turqua. And then I also used this Bernat Super Premium. Uh, I don't even know where I got this from because we don't we don't really have access to Bernat Super Premium here um, where I live. Uh, I don't know what the color is called, but it's a really nice gray something color. <laughs> anyway, here is this blanket, and oh my gosh, I love this. This turquoise color is like my favorite besides purple. Okay, so anyway, so here is this one, and I will put in a picture right here. All right, guys, I'm sure this video is ridiculously long and you guys don't have time for any more because you've got a uh, vlogmas to watch. So anyway, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, I will hopefully be back. I've got a, a hobby order coming, um, Wool Warehouse, because I'm gonna blame that one on Crystal, uh, Lion Brand. Um, yeah, so I'm sure you'll see me again pretty soon. And hopefully I can work on some stitch markers next week and get another update for you guys. So that's it. Oh, by the way, um, come join our Facebook group. The link is down below if you even made it this far. There should be a giveaway coming up there pretty soon because we're at 2,000 members. It's so exciting. So there's a Facebook group. You have to answer three questions to get in. They're really easy, I promise. I also have a Facebook business page. If you can come and like that too, that would be really exciting. And I am on Instagram and come and make sure that you follow me on Etsy so you get notified when I put some stuff up there. Oh, and if you're not subscribed to this channel, do all that stuff. Subscribe. I don't even know. I know everyone says it, but I don't ever say it. So <laughs> anyway, love you guys and we'll talk to you later. Bye.